generous applause. <laughs> Both fighters um, were really going at it. Krieger, the German, coming out the winner. Nice to see that uh, Sebastian Junk is up and on his feet. And he walks off under his own steam. So that's always um, a good thing. No one wants to see anyone injured. So pleased to report that Sebastian Junk is uh, leaving without the aid of um, a coach. Well, he's managed to um, find his way off the map. They really need to take him to an area where he can get some treatment for, for that knee. The next two fighters are on their way and into the arena. The scoreboard is still flashing O'Neill as the winner. But we are now going to see Bricheno of Venezuela and Khalilov Sharif of Uzbekistan. I didn't see any Uzbeks fighting. Uh, yesterday, they may very well have been on, but uh, I don't, don't remember seeing them. Those are the, uh, that's the stadium announcer just saying who's coming on to map number two. Shevchenko of Russia faces Kato of Japan. That's in the under 81 kilo category on map number two. Map number one is the contest that we're going to be uh, looking at. There's the Venezuelan. He comes up the, uh, the ramp first. And then there's the, uh, the Uzbek fighter. Maurizio Briceno of Venezuela prepares to, uh, to take to the mat. And there is the Uzbek fighter. Sharif Kalilov of Uzbekistan. That's uh, Sensei Oyama leading on Kalilov. Kuno Wandele Mesquita is the uh, referee in the middle from uh, Brazil. So the two fighters are brought to the middle. The referee will make sure that they uh, take good posture. And then a grip that is not advantageous one way or the other, and then he'll call Hajime. If you've um, not seen visually impaired judo, had no experience of that, that's the way that the contest gets underway. The Venezuelan attempts uh, Yoko Tomonagi, but that doesn't come off. And then the referee calls Mate, stands them back up and brings them to the middle where they stand face to face. The uh, posture is um, set by the referee, then the grip is taken, and both fighters get back underway. They move towards the uh, far left corner of the mat, and the Uzbek tries a drop Sernegi, but it doesn't uh, come off. Briseno defended that well. Geno tries the um, Sutemi Waza, throwing himself first and then trying to uh, throw his op opponent. I think for a moment the referee may have called uh, a Nippon, giving that to the fighter from Uzbekistan, but there was nothing of his technique in it. That was uh, an attempted Sutemi Waza. <laughs> so a minor slip there from the uh, Brazilian mat official. But nevertheless, the uh, fighters move on. There's a Uzari 
lead already for um, Khalilov with um, a little over a minute of the contest gone. This is the under 73 kilo category. Tomo Nagy attempted there from um, Briseno. But um, Khalilov manages to slip off that and there's no score. The contest between Shevchenko and Kato on map two continues. 3.46 left to go in that contest and there's no score between the Russian Shevchenko in the white jidogi and Kato of Japan in blue. And there's a second scoring technique from Khalilov this time as he throws Briseno for Ippon. Managed to come up with two really good scoring techniques, did uh, Khalilov. First one scored was Ari, the second scored Ippon. And there's a, a bow and then a hug and a handshake between the two fighters and then their escorts come to take them off the map. Osodagari was the winning technique. Actually Osodagari was the was, uh, was the score for Wazari. Tomoinagi um, was the winning scoring technique throwing for Ippon. Beautifully done by Khalilov of Uzbekistan. Well, we've got the um, quarter-final.